This video continues our final exam review. This next problem we're looking at solving a system of equations. In the course we looked at three methods. Uh, the graphing method, the substitution method, and the elimination method. In this review I'm just going to look exclusively at the elimination method. When using the elimination method you choose which variable you're going to eliminate. Let's eliminate y first of all and then later we'll come back and eliminate the x's. We need to find, in this case, notice that the top equation has a positive y and the bottom equation has a negative y. So in this case, if we just added the two equations together, that would be adding like things, adding equal things, and therefore we would, we would end up with equal things. The y values will cancel. Adding the two equations gives us a new equation, 3x is equal to 2y. Notice that things were just lined up just right, that the y is eliminated. We can now divide both sides by 3 and find out that x is 7. So now we know that x is 7. We could use that x is equal to 7 and plug it into any one of the previous equations everywhere there's an x and find out what the y is. So that's mixing a substitution method. Or we could choose to multiply uh, maybe the top equation by a negative 2 on both sides and uh, ending up with a situation where we could eliminate the y's. Although substitution is probably easier here, I'm going to illustrate that other method. Now when we add, it, when we add the two equations, we get a new equation, but the x's are eliminated because they add up to 0. We'll end up with a negative 3x is equal to uh, 12. So there we are with a negative 3y is equal to 12. And y is equal to a negative 4. So our solution is x is equal to 7, y is equal to 4, or the point 7, 4. Here's a second system that we're asked to solve. Again, we'll use the method of elimination. So first, let's eliminate x. We need to look at the coefficients on x and find the least common multiple. In this case, the least common multiple is 5. So we'll make one of the equations have a coefficient on x of 5 and the other equation have a coefficient of minus 5. Now adding the two equations will eliminate the x value. Resulting in minus 18y is equal to 36. We'll now divide both sides by a negative 18. So we now know that y must be a negative 2. Now add the two equations and then divide both sides by a negative 9. So there we have it. The solution is x is equal to 6, y is equal to a negative 2, or the point is 6, negative 2.